staff. Uh, welcome to the committee, gentlemen. We look forward to your testimony. Mr. Secretary. We'll slow down the reconstruction proce process. Second, we could cut and run. We didn't break Iraq. Saddam Hussein broke Iraq. Broke it in a vicious, horrible way, almost beyond imagining. Uh, it is going to be a big job to repair it, but I feel much more confident than before this trip. After spending many hours with the new prime minister and members of his government, that there is an Iraqi team ready to take charge on July 1st and committed to fixing that damage. We spent uh, almost eight hours in discussions over the course of three days with Prime Minister Lowy and his national security team, including and if if you want to say what might have been underestimated, I think there was probably too great a willingness to believe that once we got the 55 people on the blacklist, the rest of those killers would stop fighting. Uh, the key to defeating them, I believe before the war, I believe now, the key to defeating them all along has been getting Iraqis trained and equipped and capable of fighting them as quickly as possible. In fact, we went through some of this argument before the war about whether it was necessary or not to train free Iraqi forces. That Saddam did not have time to explode, to burn the oil fields. He did not have time to organize massive killing fields in Iraqi cities. I think we achieved a substantial degree of surprise and saved a lot of American lives and Iraqi lives in the process. If we had waited for a much longer, much bigger buildup that might not have been necessary, I think we would have given him time to prepare some terrible things. We'll never know for sure, but it was a conscious decision. I think it was the correct decision. I thank the gentleman. Uh, uh, one thing, Mr. Secretary, when you, uh, you, we've discussed this. Uh, the I don't see an end in sight. We're stuck. We're not stuck, Mr. Kelton. There is an end. The end is when Iraqis are governing their own country. Uh, I can't tell you how long that's going to take. It's dangerous. Uh, and I think it would depend on what areas. It, it might actually be something uh, 